Whoa, new card? What the heck are these? Okay, so let's uh, let's tell Hearthstone to shut up for now. And then we will look at these cards. Okay. Ed, you can, uh, yeah, Ed is gonna make this all pretty and stuff. Oh, I should actually change scenes here. One second. I should change scenes to da da. No, that's my face. Oh, oh that, that, that is. Hmm. Okay, I'm okay with this. I'm okay with this. Let's do this. Let's use this scene. I don't mind this scene. Uh, Lollicon Police! Thank you so much for the sub. I'll make myself a little bit bigger. Alright, like that, and then we will put on display capture one. No! Two? No! Three? Yes! Alright, there we go. Alright! Um... Oh good. Okay, how should I do this? Okay, I guess this is- I guess it's fine? Alright. Oh, we also have to address this to YouTube. Okay. Okay. How do I start? Okay, let's just start. Let's just start. If you guys have any um comments and everything, you can. Oh, you can also use the star. Wait, 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 chat. How do you type the star emote? How do you type the star emote? Star, like five stars and three stars and whatnot. Like, how do you make the star thing? No, no, guys, no, not no. Stop, stop it. No star. How do you? Okay, that's a, that's a nice star. No, I, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, that's the star I'm looking for. This yellow star. Okay, so it's star. Okay, so this one. So, like this. There we go. So you guys can put like how many stars you think the card is, okay? Alright, and then uh, you can laugh at me if I say, um, the real quest is only one star. What? Alright, shut up. Okay, let's go. Hello, guys, and welcome to the first previews of the new Knights of the Frozen Throne. Hearthstone expansion. All right, I haven't seen these cards before because I just came back from a Japan trip So I'm gonna give you my first impressions of how good this card is in constructed in arena How good this card is to craft yada 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 and of course you guys should trust my opinion because obviously I'm a very good Analyzer in cards, right? If you look at my previous reviews, I've analyzed cards perfectly Except for the road quest. Okay, let's begin um, five mana druid card, spreading plague. Summon a one five scarab of taunt. If your opponent has more minions, cast this again. So this is technically a unleash the hounds, right? It's like unleash the hounds for five mana because you're effectively getting a scarab equal to the amount of enemy minions on the battlefield, and then you can. And, but you can, at the minimum, get a 5 mana 1, 5. So, you can cast this as 0, 0 or 1 minions on your opponent's board, you get 1, 5. And if not, you get, like, a lot of 1, 5s. I guess this is pretty good against Pirate Warrior, right? But, like, and, and possibly maybe Zoo with a lot of 1 health minions, but... Yeah, this seems kind of overcosted for the effect. Um, and it just makes a bunch of walls. Uh, might be good in Ramp Druid, but also might not be. I mean, my first impression of this card is this kind of weak, right? But I guess Druids also have like a lot of buffs like Power of the Wild and uh, Mark of the Lotus and whatnot. So there could be a strategy where you just, you know, force your opponent to make a lot of dudes and then just make this and buff them all up to like 2-6 taunts, 3-7 taunts. That, 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 that actually seems pretty powerful. But it only works against some strategies, so I don't think this could be too good. So my first initial impression is like a two-star card. Um, it's um, it, it, it's good against a very specific decks, and then I guess other decks is kind of like not, not too good. Next we have Fate Spinner for Druid again. Yes, Fate Spinner for Druid. It's a five mana five three. Choose a Death Rattle secretly. Deal three damage to all minions, or give them plus two plus two. Um, so this is like a abomination kind of card or a ten what's it called? Spawn them this off. But it's secret and your opponent doesn't know and they have to play around it. And you might actually trick your opponent, but usually you can't really trick them too much. Cause I mean, come on, right? If you have a lot of minions on your board, you're gonna pick the plus two plus two. If you have no minions, you can take the deal you can take the AoE. And you're also paying a big price for this, right? It's a 5 mana, 5-3. I guess Abomination is a 5 mana, 4-4. Four, four. 
with like a lesser effect. But this guy is like, this guy's three health. I guess we need, this needs to be, hmm. The initial impression is good. Because if you're playing something like, you know, a swarm druid, right? Like token druid. There's only two board states. The one board state is that you have, or you're very ahead. And the other board state is that you're not ahead at all. Because your opponent removed all your minions and then you're pulling crappy minions, right? And this can be good in both cases. But at the same time, this is like mediocre in both cases. Like, like, come on. If you have a big board and you play this, I mean, that's good. And if you if you have no board and you play this... Okay, that is actually pretty good too. Oh, okay, okay. You know, I... Hmm. I'm okay. I'm buying this card. If Token Druid is a thing, then this card is good. I'm I'm assuming. Yeah, dude. If you have a board and you you play this, that's actually super powerful. It's a five attack minion, right? Like cards that give buffs. You want them to be a little bit more fragile, uh, and a little bit more you know of a glass cannon. So all right, I I I guess I'll give this like three stars. I guess it's three stars. That's all right. Thanks for the sub, Metonia. Ooh, Druid Legendary, it's Hydronox. 9 mana, 3, 7, Death Rattle. Summon your top minions to die this game. Oh. So it's kind of like a Nazoth, but worse because of Death Rattle. It's really hard to make it work. But what if you put both Hydronox and Nazoth on in the same deck? So you can, like, what? Play Hydronox, try and kill it, get a lot of taunts that also have Death Rattle, and then you play Nazoth. Get back all those toss of Death Rattle and Hadronox, and then Hadronox dies and you get back all the- Okay, this can- there's, there's some really weird stuff here, but... It's a freaking 9 mana 37! Like, why is this... Damn, 9 mana 37 is really bad. Like, if it's 7-3, it's a different story, because it puts a lot of pressure. Uh, like, you want these things to die, right? But, ugh, 9 mana 37, I'm not really a big fan. It also doesn't work in Ancient of War. It works on Drew the Claw. Uh, we're still on the new 4 mana 3 5 guy. Uh, I mean, yeah. Th these effects are always strong, right? When you can, like, do a bunch of things that you did early game, but the 9 mana 3 7 is also kind of weak. So, if I guess if you can give this taunt or something, that'd be good. If you can duplicate this, this is insane. Wait, is Menagerie Warden. No, Menagerie Warden is rotated out, right? No, it's not. Firelands portal is still in the game. Okay, so if you menagerie warden this, that could be pretty insane. Are there anything that trigger death rattle in Druid? No. Spirit Singer Umbra? Oh man. Because the thing is, like, Druid can always do some weird stuff because they have Innervate, right? Any any class that can cheat mana out. You can do some pretty degenerate stuff. I guess um I guess a taunt druid might be a thing. Although for this effect to be good, you do want as many taunts as possible leading up to turn nine. So you want some of the cheaper taunts and whatnot. So Alright, I'll give this a three stars for now. It could go up to four if there's more taunt minions that are good in this expansion. Because th there is menagerie warden and there is like innervate, so yeah, okay. Bear Shark! Oh my god, look at this guy. Uh, it's 3 mana 4 3, um, hunter minion with a fairy dragon hero power, right? Um, really good against casting stuff, so really good against priest and mage. It's like actually insane. It goes face and it doesn't really care. You put Howlmaster on this guy? Okay, that's- Like, if you Howlmaster this guy, that's ridiculous, right? That is actually ridiculous. The only bad thing about this card is Fire War Axe, and that's it. Or like True Silver, or or like Evil Horn Bow, or whatever weapon classes, right? But man, this against casters is actually just so backbreaking. Uh, you compare this against the other three drops in in Hunter, right? Like even like Animal Companion. This might actually even be better than Animal Companion. So I actually quite like this card. I think this is four stars. I get this four stars. Um. It's pretty powerful. In Arena, this is auto pick, I think. In Arena, this is insane. Right? Fairy Dragon is insane in Arena already, so how is this not even more insane? Stitch Tracker. 3 mana, 2, 2, Battle Cry. Discover a copy of a minion in your deck. So, it's basically a, the rich get richer. Especially in Arena, right? When you cast 
this and you have more OP cards such as like I don't know the eight mana seven seven charge the um the the Sparky eight mana four eight dragon that nukes everything. Then this could get pretty degenerate. I think this is like pretty much an auto pick in arena because it reminds me of out of my jungle. So this is like six stars in arena, obviously, right? In constructed, um this kind of wants to reward a little bit more of a high end hunter, like definitely not like an all in face hunter. Um, discovering high main is pretty good, but if you're playing Hunter, you really don't want to play, um, like, a understabbed minion. You really just want to keep the pressure on the board because the hero power doesn't do that. So, in Constructed, this might be a bit weirder. Um, I'd say, like, only, hmm, I guess a grindy, grindy Hunter deck might be good, huh? It's just a three star. I, I think it's just normal. In Arena, this is nuts. This is just has to be nuts. Venom Strike Trap. Two mana secret when one of your minions is attacked, summon a 2-3 poisonous cobra. Oh, so this is like snake trap, but instead of three one ones, you get a two three cobra. You get a you get the the the, 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 the cobra that goes right, that thing. Um I mean it's fine. I guess it's really good in arena once again. Because snake trap is OP in arena, right? So I assume that this is good in arena. And in constructed, I mean it's a secret. So Cloaked Huntress is still in standard, right? I think Cloaked Huntress is still in standard. So if there's like some degenerate secret deck, then you know that's another choice. And this is actually sometimes better than explosive trap. Because the thing with Secret Hunter is that you don't want your opponents to to trade your minions, right? You want them to you just want to keep on applying pressure. And secrets are kind of annoying. Like that's why freezing trap is one of the best secrets in Secret Hunter. So I guess it's better than explosive trap. So yeah, more more more, more choices. Abominable, abominable bowman. Oh, I see what they did there, right? Snowman, bowman. How is it the abomination of? Okay, uh, seven mana six seven. That's. I don't think there's actually a 7 mana 6 7 before, right? Uh, Death Rattle, summon a random friendly beast that died this game. Whoa. Hmm. This seems pretty strong. Like, wait, how? Wait, first of all, how does an archer have this ability? That doesn't even make sense. How does this card even make sense? This is a. Uh, okay. This is like a zero star in the flavor department. How does an abomination that's wielding a crossbow summons a beast that died this game when it dies? Okay, that doesn't make sense. Man, this card does not make sense. All right, in terms of playability, like it's, um, this, this card is really good in, this card is really good in arena. Right, you just pick this, auto, it's, a, it's an auto pick, right? You're gonna have beast for sure. And it's a six minus six seven dies into something. That's like, even better than Cairn, right? So yeah, this is insane. In Constructed, you get something like... Even... Wait, if you... Something get a 3-3 three, three back. If you get like a 2-2 two, two back... Heck, if you even get a 1-1 one, one back, it's... Hey, if you get a 1-1 one back, it's not too good. But it's a 6-7, right? 6 is a lot of damage for Hunter. That's why high main was so strong, right? Yeah, this is like a, a more expensive high main. So high main is better, but this does a good job of pretending to be high main. So it's getting there. I I'd say this is like... I'd say this is like three to four stars. I guess I'll give this a. F f oh man! I want to give this a four stars, but at the same time, it's seven mana, right? As in the hunter class. Oh, all right. I'll give this a three star. I I I'll go on the safe side of going like, hunters still probably don't want to play ch expensive cards. Professor Putricide, 4 mana 5, 4. That's a good stat line. After you play a secret, put a random hunter secret onto the battlefield. Okay, so you basically double over your secrets, right? So 4 mana 5, 4. Every time, yeah, 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 you double over your secrets. So, secret hunter. You put a random hunter secret, right? Huh. Is this good? Is this card good? This card could be very busted with Cloak Huntress. So we play Cloak Huntress at 3. 
Your opponent doesn't kill it. Well, it's really hard to kill a three mana three four at turn three, right? It's very, very difficult. And then you play this, and then you go, who am I? None of your business. That's actually pretty, that could be cute. If you have more synergies of secrets, that'd be even more insane. So like Igor and Bo, Secret Keeper. Are there some secrets that are bad? Not really, all the secrets are kind of fine. Hmm. Yeah, I think this is fine. I think this might be overrated though. Cause at the end of the day, you're still playing secrets. I think this is overrated. That, that's my first impression. I, I'm gonna go with three stars on this one. It's a good card, the stat line's fine. But I don't think it's gonna pop up that often. How good is a si uh, turn six, right? Say you don't have Cloak Huntress. How good is turn six, play this, and then play a secret? Is it that good? And what if you already have an Eagle Horn Bow equipped? Is that fine? I mean, could be fine. I foresaw this. Yeah, I think it's overrated. I'll say three stars. I, I, I'm actually borderline playing at two stars now. I actually don't think this is that good. It, it, it feels like that the jackpot scenario is just that not that good. It's just getting a few more secrets, right? Like maybe one. So I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go two stars on this one. I don't think this is that good. Um, Lucky's and Akili, thanks for the subs. Wow, thirty-seven for Akili. Welcome back. Thanks so much, Akili. Yeah, I'm gonna give this two stars. I don't think it's that good. Uh, Deathstalker Rexar. Oh, the, the the hero thing, right? So the hero cards are the when you play this, you get a new hero power and you get to restore some health and you get a battle card. So for six mana, Deathstalker Rexar consecrates the board, except for face, right? You get five armor, and you turn your um, you turn your hero power into build beast. I saw this before. This was a very very, um, this is very early. So build this beast is you draw a you draw a zombie that's a combination of two beasts, right? So it becomes two mana draw card, which is, well, the card should be really good, right? So it's probably better than a life tap, in a sense. Um, this is an auto pick in arena, right? Let's just that's just just pretty freaking obvious. It's pretty much auto pick. Um, in constructed, man, I have a very hard time imagining mid range hunter to be a thing. But then this is actually this heal part is pretty nuts. Like, how can the priest beat this? How can the control deck actually beat this? I mean, it's so difficult. Sure, you lose steady shot, but then if you're a mid range hunter and this card just outvalues your opponent so much, right? Two mana draw card, you just can't get grinded out. There's no way you can actually um, play the long game if Deathstalker Rexar comes in. Which is kind of weird, because Deathstalker Rexar, I'd, I'd imagine that he wants to smoke people to death, but apparently he's making value. So, yeah. I feel like this card is... I want to give this card like a... Um, man, mid-range hunter, man. Dude, why would play mid range hunter and play mid range everything else? Like, why don't you want to play like mid range like druid or something? You know, or like rogue. <laughs> Deal two damage to all minions, man. It's, it's like a combination of a lot of effects, but they're all kind of bad. Like, I don't want to heal myself when I'm playing hunter. I deal two damage to all minions. Like, why do I want that? I want to go face, and then draw a card, replacing steady shot. I'm gonna give this a three star. It feels really good and it feels really bad. And why is that gem hiding behind the name tag? Man, that's just that does that, that doesn't make sense. Alright, moving right along. Lazy than pal, this is the seven months. I thought you were RP and my dad and you weren't coming back. Oh my gosh, got that lazy. Okay, let's go now. Cold Wraith. Three mana three four. Uh mage. Oh, this this art looks awesome. He's so cold. He's so cool. Uh, 3 mana 3 4, so really good already. Battle card, if an enemy is frozen, draw a card. That is, um, that is really good. Alright, so auto pick an arena, obviously. In construct, draw a card. Man, that draw a card is so good. That is a big reward, right? That is a huge reward. And what is the, what is the downside of putting this in the deck? You get 3 mana 3 4. Man, this card is pretty good. If an enemy is frozen, so War Elemental and then play this draw card. That, that, I mean, this card is actually really good. I feel like this is 5 stars. How is this not insane? You're playing a 3-3-4 three, three, at worst, 
which already that's what Temple Mage wants. And then you're obviously going to be playing Freeze Effects. Three mana, three, four that draws a card? That's insane! That's actually insane. Uh, I'm gonna give this five stars. Like, that's this is. I think this card is insane. This is like Cabal Talon Priest levels of nuts. If there's more, if there's more freezing effects, this gets even better, right? No, this card's really good. Like a three mana three four is already really good. So yeah, I, I like this card. All right, what is this? You hear what? Okay, 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 okay. So this is five stars for sure now. All right, so Ice Walker, two mana, one three elemental. Your heal part also freezes the target. So two mana, one three. Your heal part also freezes the target. That is actually pretty degenerate. That is actually pretty degenerate, because in some decks you can't actually beat this card, because you're effectively just holding down one one creature. And then this happens. Oh my, this card is pretty good. I mean, the thing of 2 mana 1, 3 is that you don't want to play on turn 2, right? But then at the same time, you can also play on turn 2 because 3 health. Kind of uh, hard to kill. And also relevant late game. And then, yeah, they, they kind of have to kill this. Because, like, imagine if, uh, it, like, when they decide whether to kill this or not, they have to kill this. Because if they don't kill this, then you, you, you freeze them again, you clear the board, you play more minions, and then they have to offer the choice again. So then they should have killed in the first place. And this is an elemental as well. Yeah, this card's good too. This card's not as, as insane as this one. This card makes Cold Rift better. So I'd say about... I'd say like 3 or 4 stars for this one. I'd say, I say... I think this is like... Man, this card is really good. Okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go higher this. Act. I'm saying this card is 4 stars. I actually like this. Man, I think Temple Mage is gonna be a thing. Okay, maybe not three. Okay, fine, three stars. It's a one three. Okay, fine. It's it's three stars. It's not as good. It's not. This is good. This is three stars. Yes, I, I'm gonna give three stars. That's my final verdict. All right. Oh my god, what happened to Sorcerer's Apprentice? Oh no. What face? Doomed Apprentice. Three mana, three two. Your opponent's spells cost one more. Um, so this is basically a blank in a lot of decks, against a lot of decks. So like in Pirate Warrior, it's a blank. Against Zoo decks, it's a blank. And this is 3 mana, 3, 2. I mean, it's good against Rogue. But at the same time, it's also not good against Rogue. Because you're playing a 3 mana, 3, 2, make the backstab cost 1. So it's the same thing as playing Sorcerer's Apprentice for 2, make the backstab cost 0. Um, I don't really like this card. I think this is a one. I mean, it's playable, but I don't like this. Yeah, it's also it's also really bad against weapons. All right, I'm gonna give this one star. Ghastly Conjurer, four mana two six battle cry. Add a mirror image spell to your hand. That is insane. Oh, wait, so this is auto pick an arena. How is this not auto pick an arena? This is auto pick an arena. In Constructed, this is, um, so this is like a little bit more of a stall card, right? So it's like a 5 mana 210 in a sense. That makes combat really annoying. Um. Hmm. How good is this in Constructed? What would, what, 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 what deck would want to fit this? Because if you're playing Temple Mage, you kind of want to play like Steam Surger sometimes. You want to play more high attack minions. Two cents is kind of like, slow. <laughs> Um, ooh, Quest Mage! Ooh, that could be a thing. Quest Mage? Would Quest Mage want to play this card? Actually, Quest Mage would want to play this card, because they just want to slow things down for their Antonidas um, Time War combo. Okay, fine. This one, this is a good Quest Mage card. Okay, sure, sure, sure. I, I buy that, I buy that. So let's say, let's say three stars. Yeah, this is okay. This is pretty good. This is pretty good Quest Mage. Alright. Syndragosa! 8 mana, 8 dragon, battle cry, summon 2, 0, 1, frozen champions. Okay, I'm assuming that these do something. 1 mana, 0, 1, frozen champion. Death Rattle, add a random legendary minion to your hand. Okay, so you get an 8 mana, 8, 8. 
and then you get two zero ones, and then you can ping these guys at worst to draw a legendary minion. So this is auto pick an arena. This is auto pick an arena. In constructed, this is a lot of value. So if you're playing Temple Mage and this is your high end, is that good enough? Like you get to play, you get to basically play eight mana, make your next two hero powers draw legendary. That seems really good. I'm sure that seems really good. Cause right now what the Temple Mages play, Temple Mages lose, lost Ragnaros, right? Cause Ragnaros is no longer, it, it, he got banned. <laughs> he got wrecked. And then Temple Mages play um, Antonidas now, right? And then there's really not much of a choice. 8 mana 8-8 eight, eight is... 8 mana 8 is fair. <laughs> hmm. You can also activate these with like just Volcanic Potion or something too, right? So it's not like you have to ping. And you get two zero ones, which you can do stuff with it. I'm assuming this is good. I I'll just send your ghost up for it. Have you heard about the priest's hero card? Archbishop Silver Martini, why are you ruining four, it? We're six. getting there. God damn it. Oh, digital back. dummy detected. Put your faith in the light, Kappa. Kappa Kappa. Yeah, okay, I'm, I'm gonna give Senior Bosa a four. Four stars. I think this is actually pretty good. Yeah, you make your hero power draw a card. It's like making your hero power life tap for two turns. And like a legendary minion is not, it can't be that bad. So yeah. Alright. Oh my god, she looks so weird. Mm -hmm. Oh, she looks like my. She looks like a grandma. Oh, Moody, thanks for the sub. Uh, Frost of Shane at the grandma is a 9 mana hero card. You get 5 armor. Battlecry summon a 3 6 war elemental. And then your elementals have life steal this game. Man, that kind of sucks. Oh, wait, you get the hero part too. Okay, so the hero part, Icy Touch. Deal one damage. If this kills a minion, summon a water elemental. Okay, there we go. Man, if it's just this, that kind of sucks. Your elementals have life steal this game. Okay. So once again, it's like a combination of three bad effects turned into one. Icy touch. Deal one damage. If this kills a minion, summon a water elemental. Is fallen hero? No, no, no. Fallen hero is banned. Yeah, fallen hero is banned. Okay, so this always basically it has to kill one it has to deal one damage and kill something to get a water element. So that's lifesteal. So lifesteal is like the new mechanic in the knights um expansion. Lifesteal is basically the same text as Mistress of Pain, um and Burn Bristle in that damage done heals yourself. <laughs> hmm. Is this just me, or I feel like Jurassic is better than this? Right? Like, hmm. I guess you can't really compare across classes. But like... Oh, this hero power, man. This hero power is kind of weird. I guess it's really easy to trigger this sometimes, because you, if you're playing mage, you naturally have spells that deal damage. So say they have like, I don't know, like a 5-6 or something, and you have a water elemental. You can do something weird like, you know... Um, you can like try and always mix this work. Because you have spells that deal 2 damage, you have spells that deal 3 damage, you have Blizzard, you have Flame Strike. Um, so against like a minion heavy deck, that's pretty good. But, um, man, 9 mana. 9 mana? Oh. So, okay, I guess, okay, the best situation for this card is that you already have some elementals on the board. Say you're losing to a faster deck, right? So, say you're losing to like a, I don't know, what's a faster deck? Like a hunter or something, right? So then you give all your elementals life steal. You gain back a lot of life. You gain the five armor. You summon the three six elemental, and they have to basically kill your board because if they can't if they can't kill your board, you keep on getting life. But then to kill their board to kill your board, they have to play minions or remove it with spells, and then you just play out more minions and stuff like that. This also synergizes with Syndragosa because you can ping your own champion, get a three six. Get more life steal. It's really grindy. Okay, so the first impression of all the hero cards is they're all very grindy. Right? They all kinda wanna play the long game. I'm gonna give Frostless Jaina a <sighs> I wanna give this a four stars. But I think it's a three. I think it's ash I, I think it's still a three because there's a lot of setup cost. 
Is there gonna be an elemental mage deck? I mean, probably Calamos and whatnot. Let's just give this a three. I guess I I just wanna give this a three. I don't think it's that I think this this all these effects are good together. I think the hero power is kinda of busted. But at the same time it's nine mana. Like you kinda of have to work for this. Okay, I I'm gonna give this a three stars. Yeah. Nine mana is a big cost. Yuka, thanks for the 25 months, man. Welcome back. Alright, let's move on to Paladin. Chill Blade Champion is a 4 mana 3 to charge lifesteal. Reminds me of Corcoran Elite immediately. Uh, it gets lifesteal though, so against aggro decks is pretty sweet because not only does it gain you 3 life, they have to kill it, which gains you another 3 life. So that's nice. Um, you don't want to trade with this. You want to go face. You, you want to go face, right? Yeah, you want to go face. Even against aggro, you want to go face. Because if you trade, this is like a bash. And it's bad. So, this basically says... Deal 3 damage to the opponent. Heal 3 to yourself. And then make a 3-2 lifesteal. You do not want to trade with this. I think this is not... This this is really good if you buff it. Yeah, all life steel cards are good if you buff it. This is really good against 1-3s. But that's about it. I'm gonna give this like a 2 star. Yeah, 2 star is fair, I think. I think if you buff this, it'd be pretty good. But then Burn Bristle is probably just better, right? Burn Bristle is more sticky as well as Taunt, Divine Shield, and Life Steal. So yeah, I think this is kind of like a filler. I think in the arena this is gonna be good. Uh, Christie's eight one eleven. Thank you so much for the sub. So this is a this is a good off topic thing. I think um gaining life in any card game is actually really good if the card does something else. So like for example, healing touch sucks because it only gains you life. But cards that gain you life that are stapled onto a minion or stapled onto like Holy Nova, for example, like an extra effect is actually really good because it, 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 it like. Gaining life makes your opponent's combat math really, really difficult. So if they try and count lethal, and then you play a card of lifesteal, then you suddenly mess their math up a lot. I actually love playing um, cards that gain your life in Magic as well. So I think this has a lot of value in um, Arena. Howling Commander, Battlecry. Draw- Oh, it's a 3 mana 2 2 Battlecry. Draw a Divine Shield minion from a deck. Draw a Divine Shield minion from a deck. Wow, there's a lot of 3 mana 2 to draw a card now. So this is even better sometimes than the Cabal Courier because it draws a card from your deck. But at the same time, it's a 3 mana 2-2 two, two that draws a card from your deck. So it's not like it's insane or anything. It does draw a specific card, so that's also good. So say you only have like Tyrion in your deck or you have Tyrion and Burn Bristle or something, right? Seems okay. 3 mana 2-2. Two, two. And then it's good in Arena, but in Constructed, I feel like... I feel like that Paladins already have a lot of value cards that don't need to go the... the um, don't go to the... Avenue of card drawing. For example, Spiker Steed, right? Like, a lot of... One, one of the best decks in right now is like the mid-range Paladin with like Murlocs and perhaps the Spiker Steeds and you know just just a lot of mid-range creatures with Sunkeeper Tarim and stuff like that. Like drawing cards is like a ton of value, right? But Paladins already have value from their OP cards and their and their buffs and their true silver champions and stuff like that, right? So I feel like this card is actually pretty redundant. I don't think it's that good. Um, and it's not like it's a 3 mana 2-3 two, three or 3-2. Three, that would make it so much better, but it's a 3 mana 2-2, two, two, so it's like an upgraded, um, I hope you like my novice engineer. Um, so, I'd say this is like a 2 star. I think in Arena this is fine. Because it's like a Cabal Courier, right? If it, anything that draws a card is good in Arena. But in Constructed, I don't think it's that good. So let's just give this a 2 star in, Are in Constructed. Yeah, let's just give this a 1 star in Constructed. I don't think it's gonna be that good. Light Sorrow is a 4 mana 1-4 weapon, 
After a friendly minion loses divine shield, so one of your guys, you gain one attack. So it's kind of like Light's Justice, but Light Sorrow. Oh, that's cute. After a friendly minion loses divine shield, gain plus one attack. So, you want to gain at least one attack for this to be good. It's, that's not that hard to achieve. Not on my watch, Arden Squire. Stegodon. <laughs> Maybe this is too cute. I, I think this is too cute. I think this is a zero. <laughs> um, any play, this is the 12 months. One year hype and Miles Gallum. Thank you very much. I think this is a zero star. I don't think this is good at all. Four mana, one four weapon. So you play this, and if you don't have any divine shields, it doesn't do anything. And then you have to play it. I mean, okay, fine. Like, the fact that you can hold it is really good. But isn't True Silver just better than this? Like, in, in Hearthstone, you just want immediate effects you really just want immediate effects so yeah i think this is um i think this is a zero i think this is just bad oh look at both dude he looks look 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 at the art it looks good Mana one seven. Oh yeah, Bovar. I, I know that. Okay, let's see if this is playable. Bovar Fireblood, Divine Shield. Okay, after a friendly minion loses Divine Shield, gain plus two attack. So it's like this. It's like the other one, right? It's like the other one to lose Divine Shield kind of thing. Um. So it's a five mana one seven that turns to three seven after Divine Shield is lost, and if you have more Divine Shields, it turns to five seven and stuff like that. Okay, I mean, it's slow, but at the same time, it's also kind of, hmm. Because a 5 mana 3-7 is fine. This is a 5 mana 1-1 one, one that turns into a 3-7. That's how I look at it, at least. Right? It's a 5 mana 1-1, one, one, death rattle into 3-7. And if you have a couple more divine shields, it might be a 5-7, but at the, at, at the end, it's not really that insane. So, hmm... Man, I want this card to be good, but my first impression is that it's not good. How's this good? You could... Rallying Blade is not in the... Oh, no, no. Rallying Blade is... Is Rallying Blade GG? Or is Rallying Blade still in the game? I oh, man. I, I am really bad at remembering these stats and things. I think this is yeah, I think this is bad. It's in? Okay. But I think this is still bad. 17 Divine Shield is so weird. Okay, so if there's any attack buffs in the new expansion, then this is better. But a 5 mana 17 Divine Shield is like, like this reminds me of the what's your face called? Twilight Summoner. Yeah, this reminds me of Twilight Summoner. And Twilight Summoner is not good in Paladin. So I'm, I'm gonna rate this like kind of bad. Yeah. Um, One star. Um, Rob QQ, thanks for the sub. Alright, almost to Priest cards. Oh god, let's go. Priest cards, what do you have? Two mana, life steal, spell. Deal one damage to all minions. So it's like a more expensive whirlwind. But, for every damage you deal, you get to restore one to yourself. So say you have Thalnos and you play Spirit Lash. We get to deal two to everything and then restore health equal to all damage done. I mean, I think this is great because it's like an arcane explosion. And arcane explosion effects are actually really good. Especially like with priests, you kinda just kinda just want these effects, I guess. It's really unfortunate that Valence Chosen is actually rotated out, because like Valence Chosen with this would be insane, right? The restore health is actually pretty relevant. Um this is really bad against mid-range and control decks. This is only good against aggro. Man, against control decks, this card sucks. Deal one damage to all minions. Well, it does activate stuff like, you know, no shark cleric. And, um... Actually, that's about it, huh? Man. Like... Oh... Pyromancer? This does not synergize with Pyromancer. Because the Pyromancer dies. It synergizes with Pyromancer in the fact that... No, it doesn't. It kills it. 
No, 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 no. It doesn't synergize. Shit. Hmm. Man, I want this card to be good, but I feel like this is only good against aggro, right? Like, you're paying two mana for a whirlwind effect already, and it's not like Priest can use a whirlwind effect well. It really needs spell power to be good, and there's only Thalnos in spell power for Priest. So, I feel like this is bad. Does activate Cleric. But I think that's about it. I don't think it activates anything else. Yeah, I think it's bad. Man, I want this to be good, but I think it's bad. Rest like, restore health to yourself in the form of this is not that- It's only good against aggro. Against aggro, you actually really want this card. This card is actually pretty insane. Say, say you're playing against a zoo, right, and they have five minions, and you actually kill like two of them and restore five health for two. That's pretty sick. But I do not want this card against any mid-range control or even combo, right? Like against like combo, like against Garrett's End Rogue or even Freeze Mage or something like that. If there's even a Freeze Mage and an expansion, I don't know because Ice Lights is rotating up. But basically against a combo, I think this sucks. This is actually just garbage. So I'm going to rate this like a one star. Eternal Servitude, four mana. Discover a friendly minion to die this game, summon it. So it's a more expensive Resurrect. But you get a little bit more control over it. Um, my first impression is that this sucks. Because it's 4 mana, it's so expensive. And what do you actually want? So say you, you can actually do some... Do, you can do some cute stuff. So something like Chomp. Right, 7 mana. 8 mana, 7, 7, charge. You can get that back. Um, what else can you get back? Look, it's, it's a priest. You really don't want to get back stuff. Because you want, you want battle cry minions, right? You want... You want things to do stuff. Um, you can get Ezera back, which is pretty sick. So I think this is like a late game. This is better than mind games. This is better than Forbidden Shaping. Okay, actually this is pretty- Okay, if this is better than Forbidden Shaping, then we have to compare this against Free From Amber, right? Like, would you- The problem with this card is that you have to play this on turn 10, right? If you play this on turn 6, Alright, say you're playing Dragon Dragon Priest, right? You're playing the 5 mana 5 6 Dragon. And turn 6, you play this. You get a 5 6. And then what? Your hero power? So it's still like a 6 mana 5 6. Can you discover any Death Rattle minions that are good? Shifting Shade. So 4 mana Shifting. That's not even that good. But then, I mean, I, I think it's passable. But then late game, it gets pretty insane, right? Like, you can discover stuff like Ezera. Ezera is like the main thing. Ragnaros is rotated out, so you can't discover that. Would I want to play this in control decks? Yes, I would. I, I would want to play this in control decks. You can also get back Lyra, huh? Oh, you can also get back Injured Blade Master. That is true. Four mana, four seven. Okay, that's actually pretty good. Okay, I'm actually getting more sold on this card now that I, I'm, I'm like trying to think about it. I'm getting more sold on this card. So you can turn three Injured Blade Master and then kill it off. Get a four mana, four seven. Um, in the mid game, you can also get you can get uh the Dragon, the five six. You can get Shifting Shade. So those are passable. There's not the, that's like probably the worst use of it, right? And then in the late game, you can get stuff like Ezera and possibly some other busted high cost stuff that I can't think of right now. But yeah. Barnes? I think Barnes is um I think Barnes is a little bit too cute for this. I think if you're gonna play Barnes and Death Rattle stuff, you're gonna I don't I think it's gonna play that big a role, right? I think this is hmm I think this is good. I think this is good. I'll give this a 4 star. I think this is good. Yeah, I mean, if you think about it, it's better than uh, Forbidden Shaping. And I put Forbidden Shaping in a lot of Priest decks back then, in the Control decks. Yeah, I think this is good. I'll give this 4 stars. Alright. I'm sold. Alright, that's it. That's it for the um for the, for the Priest cards, I guess. Uh, Leeching Poison. Give your weapon life steal. Wow, that is so crappy. 2 mana give your weapon life steal? That is... How is this good? Okay, so you give this on like say Assassin's Blade or something. Wow, this is really bad. It's two mana healing touch, but not even that. Give your weapon lifesteal. 
What the heck is this? It doesn't even work with Blade Flurry, right? Because, uh, and Venom Weapon doesn't work with Blade Flurry, so Leech Poison doesn't. Oh, this is crap. This is actually crap, right? You don't even want this in the Man, in Arena? This is even- Oh, this is so bad in Arena. Oh, wait, this is just bad. Okay, okay. Negative one star. Uh, play Sciences. Three minutes, two, three. Combo. Give a friendly minion poisonous. Ooh. So you have to combo this out, and then you get to trade anything with anything. Um... Three mana, two, three. Are are Rose playing any small creatures? Yes, they are. They're playing Swashburglers and Hucksters. So they are. But this is a three mana, two, three. Right? Wouldn't SI just be more safe and be more efficient? Yes. Would you play SI and this? No. There's a period where Farseer is played, and Farseer is better than this. Can friendly minion poison this? Hmm. I think this is just bad in Constructed. In Constructed, you already have like saps and eviscerates and stuff like that, right? And if you want to kill something, you file Smite Slayer's Prayer just better. Um, and Quest Rogue doesn't even want this kind of card. So I think this is just bad in Constructed. Is in Arena is actually not bad. You get to trade anything with anything. And there's, uh, there's enough stealth creatures in Rogue that makes this um, desirable card. I think this is okay in, in Arena. This, this card sucks in Constructed. Yeah. So, I, I, I will actually give this a zero in Constructed. I don't see this working out. Shadow Blade. 3 mana, 3 2. Battle Cry, your hero is immune this turn. Alright, so 3 mana, 3 2 weapon is already a 3 star at the minimum, right? Because that's playable with no text. Your hero is immune this turn, so you're basically gaining some life. That's, that, that's, that's an effect I can get behind. So, you're actually gaining some life. Okay, so this is auto pick in Arena. In Constructed. And Constructed, this is actually not bad. This is actually not bad. Because, like, this is, like, better than Perdition's Blade. Right? Because Perdition's Blade, you have to combo it out. And then the second attack is actually worse. But then... This is a 3... This is a 3 mana 3 2 weapon. 3 mana 3 2 weapons are good. They're good. And, like, incidental life gain is always, like, fine. I think this is fine. I think... I, I, I'll, I'll give this, like, 4 stars. And this is fine. <laughs> Icebreaker. Whoa, is this another rogue weapon? No, it's not. It's a it's a shaman weapon. It's a blue border, right? All right. So we're on the shamans now. Icebreaker. Destroy any frozen minion damaged by this. What? Okay, I guess there's a new freeze mechanic in shaman because if you put this in the game right now, this is useless. I miss cards. I'm gonna go to Hearthbone after this album and then we'll um we'll look at some cards yeah i i, I let, let's not let's not let's not do anything right, right. I'll, I'll just do the missed cards later but yeah if you put this card in the expansion right now it's useless so I, i'm guessing there's more freezing cards so let's come back from let's come back to this i feel like this is still crappy there, there can be so many freeze effects but i think this is still gonna be crappy right Three mana, one three. So you get three assassinates, but you have to trade your face, and you also have to freeze the minion. So you have to actually spend the card too. This is pretty bad. Okay, I'm gonna go with this is pretty bad until I change my mind. So I'm gonna give this zero for now. I might change my mind. It depends on how many free stuff. Five mana, two seven voodoo hexer. Oh, there you go. Okay, there you go. Alright, so five mana, two seven taunt. Freeze any character damaged by this minion. Oh, this is a very beefy card. So this is like, um, thanks for your jumpy doll for this up. Um, this is like... Shard, Gadgets, and Steel. Alley Armorsmith. Instead of gaining armor, you get to freeze. Man, this card is so annoying. Alright, so this card is like insane in Arena. Because not only do you put up a big wall for them to get through, you also get to freeze them. Wait, right, this is insane in Arena. In Constructed, this is... In Midrange Shaman. Hmm. This makes it so awkward. Like, this is just like auto-win against some decks, right? If you play this against Pirate Warrior, how do they win? Because it freezes their face too, right? If they hit this with a weapon. It's freeze any character. 
This could be so backbreaking against some decks. I think this is actually pretty good. It makes it so annoying for them to. It's seven health. It's seven health. So say they have a five five, and the five five hits this two seven. It's still super awkward for them because you're still gonna do stuff. This is really good with AOE, right? This is really really good because they're not gonna use three twos to kill this. They're gonna use big minis to kill this, and then when they do, they still get frozen. So I think this is fine. Um, it's a bit overcosted, obviously, because Water Elemental is insane. But I think it's fine. I'll give this like a three or four stars. I think this is like, this is like, man, if if the meta is correct, this is four stars. So if the meta is like Zoo, Pirate Warrior, Token Druid, and stuff like that, then this is really good. So yeah, let's let's give it a four star, um, because every every Hearthstone meta is aggro. Cryostasis, two mana, give a minion, plus three, plus three, and freeze it. Dude, I designed one of these cards before. I, I designed a three mana, plus five, plus five, and freeze it before. All right, so, okay. Hmm, give a minion, plus three, plus three, and freeze it. This seems pretty good. Are there any good one drops in the uh, shop right now? I don't think so. What's a good one drop in the shop? Pirate? No. I mean, pirate is good one drop, but is there like a tunnel truck kind of thing? I don't think so. Is tunnel truck still in the game? It, or did Tunnel Truck get banned? I think Tunnel Truck got banned, right? If Tunnel Truck didn't get banned... Then it's really good. Oh man, I don't remember, man. Two mana, three, three. Oh, that's really good, man. Oh, two mana give something plus two plus two is really good. But then you, so basically you lose an attack, right? You know what? I'm actually going to be, I, I, oh. Man, freezing your own minion is really awkward too, right? So you can't like totem and play this and be happy. So for example, you play, t you, you, you make a totem, you play this and the totem is a three, five that can't attack next turn. Stars? Either? Really, did you forget the pyro, knife, juggler, and tentacle of Nizo synergy? Failfish. Giving play sign is zero stars. Did you forget pyro, knife, juggler, and tentacle of Nizo synergy? Uh, maybe a little bit, yeah, maybe. Put it on knife, juggler, try cute, but I'm still gonna give it a zero. Um. Yeah, so you put this on a totem, you get a 3 5 totem that can't attack next turn. That's pretty bad. That's actually pretty bad. But you put this on something that actually could use the buff, and that could be pretty good. Like, Tunnel Chalk would be really good. No, Tunnel Chalk is the Ultimon set, so no, no, it's actually bad. Oh, man. Okay, I'm gonna say that this is bad. I, I just don't... I can't imagine a situation where this is good. If you play Alakir, attack once and then cryostasis. And then next turn you get to attack of a five you get to attack of a six eight divine shield, wind fury, taunt. Huh. Is that even good? That feels so cheesy though. You put this on a tar creeper? A tar creeper becomes what? Becomes a four eight. That becomes a six eight on the turn. Is that even good? That feels pretty crappy too. Honestly, I'm not. I'm okay. I'm not big on this card. I I feel like this card is actually pretty bad. It has to be on taunt guys. That's true. Okay. If you put this on taunt guys, it's okay. If you don't put this on taunt guys, it's pretty bad. I'm gonna rate this pretty low. I'm gonna give this like a two star. I think it's pretty bad. This would be insane to mage. 
Wow, this card would be really good in Mage because it, they have the 3 mana 3 4 Cold Grave thing. Yeah. But I think this is pretty bad. I think this, I'm just gonna give this two stars. It's really hard because the freeze effect is actually pretty bad. You have to put this on a top minion. If you put it on a minion that you just played, then it's really bad. If you play it on a minion that can attack, then you basically miss an attack and kill plus three plus three. Which is like not breaking the game. Yeah, it's not breaking the game. But I actually want to get one star now. Now I'll give it two stars. I think two mana three three is actually a good stat line, but I think it's too awkward to want to cast this. <laughs> What the hell is that? Murabi! 6 mana 4-4. Four, four. Whenever another minion is frozen, add a copy Guys, of it into your hand. Down. We all know from the past that if Emma's gives a card 1 star, it will be actually 5 stars and game breaking. If he gives 5 stars, it's guaranteed shit. Slash time out glim glam. Alright, perfect! Thanks for the donation though, glim glam. I appreciate it. But you still have to go to the naughty zone. Okay, so 6 mana 4-4 four, four, Murabi. Whenever another minion is frozen, add a copy of it into your hand. So the 6 mana 4-4 four, four that draws cards in the form of freezing effect, right? Is there a mass freeze effect in Shaman? I don't think so. Frost Shock. Oh. Combo. Whenever another minion. Okay, so you can't get Murabi back. Man, I think this is just bad. Why do I think this is just- uh, I, 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 Man, I think this is just bad. Why would you want to play this? This is terrible. There's no- Nothing that really- Okay. So, when- Freeze any character damage by this man. So, if you have Voodoo Hexer and then you have Murabi on turn 6, you can hit something with Voodoo Hexer and get a copy of it? Is that even good? Man, that's a- 6 mana 4, 4 draw a card? Even like- Oh, this is bad. Even draw- Oh. No, this is zero stars. This is terrible. Alright, this is actually terrible. I don't, I don't want this. I don't want this in my deck. Okay, pass. Alright, next. Sanguine Reveler. 1 mana, 1-1. One, one. Battle cry, destroy a friendly minion and gain plus 2 plus 2 as a Warlock card. Now, this is actually pretty good. I think this is pretty good. Like, we already have, like, Void Terror for this kind of thing, right? It gives no tempo, and it's just a dead draw 90% of the time. Wasty. Wasty, there you go. So I think Sanguine Reveler is actually pretty good because like if it's like these with the Void Terror, you can make some we can make some combo potentials that are really consistent, right? So there's like what? There's a three mana zero three egg, there's like Twilight Summoner, um oh there's no Sylvanas anymore. Oh man. Oh there's no power overwhelming anymore either. Ooh. Ooh, Warlock's got a bit of nerfed. Hmm. Destroy a friendly minion and gain plus two plus two. This reminds me of I have big plans. <laughs> it reminds me of that because it's like a one mana one one, right? I feel like this card can't be bad. You got know what I mean? I feel like this card can't be bad. This also like possessed villager. So yeah, I think this is fine. I, I give this like a 3 star. I think this is like good. You want to put this in zoo decks. Possess villager, eggs, void terrors. There's enough things that make this good. Defile. 2 mana. Deal 1 damage to all minions. If any die, cast this again. So you just keep up blah and blah and blah and blah. Okay, cool. If you have um... Wait, how does this exactly work? So, do, do, do minions die in the middle of the effects? Cause like... I remember there was, what was that called? Poison Seeds, right? Poison Seeds are actually a bit weird. Cause Poison Seeds was like, everything dies, death row trigger, and then the treants come to life, right? So, if I cast the fire with Thalnos, does it deal true to everything for the rest of eternity? Or... Does it kill the Thalnos and then start stealing one? That's actually pretty weird. Hmm. I'm not really sure. Uh, regardless, if I'm just gonna not look at the corner cases, right? This card just can straight up wreck some decks. Like, it can wreck Hunter decks. It can wreck Pirate Warrior decks because they don't. They have one ones, right? <laughs> Anything that one ones, it can just wreck. It, can, it just wrecks shamans and you know stuff like that. 
Also a very hard card to cast properly. Dreadsteed was changed. I heard about that. Yeah. Dude, if you play Dreadsteed and Defile, you actually get to wipe the board. Oh wait, actually, it's like Endless Loop. Oh shit, that breaks the game. Okay, that's why they changed this. Okay, okay. Um, yeah, Dreadsteed died for this. I'm gonna go ahead and say that this is okay. I don't think this is insane. But it's an AoE for Warlock, huh? Mm -hmm. Oh man, I think this is okay. I don't. Hmm. If you play Possessed Villager into the Fire, that's a three damage AoE. That's actually that's that's actually pretty cool. What else can you do with this card? Don't really know about the Thalmus thing. I think this is okay. I think this is okay. I think this is three stars. I think this is okay. The I think possessed villager of this is actually the best way to to, to make it work. At least that's my first impression. Oh my god, what face! Gnomish vampire, two mana two three. Battle cry, remove the top card from your opponents. Okay, that's just that's just okay, so okay. <laughs> so this is a bad card in constructed. In arena, this is a two mana two three. So you just want to pick this because two. It basically has no text, right? Remove the top card from your opponent's deck. Do you get to show this? Like, do they get to know what card they lose? It'll be pretty funny if they don't know what card they lose. But yeah, this card is just bad. It's just two mana two three. I'm not gonna see play, right? Is there gonna be a cool wild deck with this? Like, Bran, and then Gnomish Vampires, and then Brewmaster them back, and stuff. I, I, I don't know, Wild is whatever, I don't really care about Wild. Like, this is unplayable, right? This is zero stars. Blood Queen, Lanathel. Oh, I like the artwork. 5 mana, 1, 6. Okay. Life Steal, okay. Has plus 1 attack for each card you discard this game. 5 mana, 1, 6, Life Steal. Has plus one attack for each card you discard this game. So like what? Soul fire. The truth is in here. Um. Oh. <sighs> okay, so this go this goes through, right? So what does this goes through do? This goes through is like play a lot of silver or golems. Make a lot of board, Doom Guard, and then you play Blood Queen Lanathel. This is kind of like in a bad position, right? Because if you're playing like a discard zoo, you're kind of aggressive. And is Blood Queen Lanathel going to be that aggressive? Like a 5 mana 4 6. Do you want to put. You can't hide from me in the zoo warlock deck, right? Like, why do you need the life if you're playing the disco zoo? So, maybe you don't put this in Disco Zoo, maybe you put this in like more of a mid-range or even like Handlock? Handlock? Is this good in Handlock? Soulfire? 3-6? You don't want to discard cards in Handlock, so no. Mid-range Warlock? So like Demon Warlock? Man, why is this card so hard to make work? Am I missing something? I think this card is just bad. It does grow when it's on the battlefield, which is kind of cute, right? So like, if you if you play this as a 1-6, or 2-6 or whatever, and you soul fire it because of 3-6 and stuff like that, that's kind of cute. But this seems pretty bad. Are you serious? 2 mana 2 to 3 is good already and bestowing an opponent's card with it? Hop. <laughs> oh, to do, that's funny. Yeah, this card sucks. If you think this card is good, then you probably suck. Sorry, it's okay. It's okay to suck in the card game, okay? Like, it's not the end of the world. But I, I, I have a very hard time imagining this card to be good. I just don't see... I just don't see a deck that can actually make use of the lifesteal mechanic too much. Like, you have to want the life tap because you want the lifesteal. But then, at the same time, if you life tap, you don't want discard cards. 
So, I'm gonna... This is like... Man, I want to give this like a one star. Two stars, maybe? This goes up? I don't know. Like, in the current... In the current environment, it's like a one, right? It's borderline unplayable in this environment. Fire Rider Force is like so bloody what? Okay, fine. Okay, there is one. There is one matchup that this is good. Okay, it, it's against like another aggro deck, right? If this is, if you play this against an aggro deck, then it's good. All right. So it's it's the mirror match, or if it gets against a pirate warrior, then this is fine because they have to kill this because it's gaining life every single turn. All right. So I, I okay, we found one matchup that's good. That's good. I like that. All right. So two stars then. We finally found something that's good. Yeah. Okay. Sure, two stars. All right, what do we have for Warrior? Animated Berserker. One mana, one three. After you play a mat, minion, deal one damage to it. Oh, that's so cute. That's so cute. Oh, that's too cute. That's way too cute, right? No. No. This reminds me of Sea Reaver. Remember the six mana, six seven, that when you draw it, deals one damage to everything you have? Oh, why do you want to deal one damage to your own minions? This... All right, so you want to play this with Acolyte. That's the main. Th that's the first thing that comes to mind. But that's it. You play this with Patron Warrior. After you play a minion, so you play this. You play Patron. You get another Patron. Wait, Grim Patron is banned. Oh, wait, okay, that doesn't even work. Okay, well, okay, maybe this is a new theme or something, but. Borderline and playable right now? Yeah, zero. Yeah, I'm gonna give this a zero for now. This, this is pretty bad. Like even in rage decks, you don't want to play this kind of these kind of effects. Alright, what is this? Four mana two to blood razor. Battle cry and death rattle deal one damage to all mages. Okay, now that's a good card. This is a good one. Um Despite, that's obviously the one that comes into mind. But a battle cry and a death rattle would deal one damage to all mages. Man, this card is insane! This card is actually insane. How is this card not insane? Like, okay, Unstable Ghoul is insane. Unstable Ghoul is still in the meta right now, right? Oh my god, okay, that's so... Okay, this card is really good. So it's like a 4 mana 3-2 in a sense, right? So it's like a swipe. Man, this card is really good. Dude, this card is really good. What the frick? Okay, this is a 5 star. Okay, this is... Oh wait, this is also an auto pick in Arena. How is this card not the most insane card ever? Okay, this card is insane. This card might actually be the best card in expansion, even. Because, like... Okay, imagine you're swiping something, right? Swipe is 4, ma four damage to one thing, 1 damage to everything else. This is 3 damage to one thing, 1 damage to everything else. And you get a free effect again. So this is 2 swipes in 1. Right? Man, this is insane. This, this is five star. This is an auto pick in the This is insane. And I'm sure that there's some frothing berserker weird combo you can do with this. This is, card is so good against aggro, too. What the frick? Oh, okay, this is insane. This card is insane. All right, this is my favorite card so far. The power level is really high. I like this. Mountain Fire Armor. Mountain Fire Armor. Interesting name. Uh, three mana, four, three. Death Rattle, if it's your opponent's turn, gain 6 armor. Wow, that's kind of cute. Okay. So, you don't want to trade this off on your own turn. Sometimes you have to, it doesn't matter. But then if you, your opponent kills it, gets 6 armor. Hmm. That's a weird one. This is a weird one, huh? This is really weird. Hmm. What the frick? Yeah, I guess you can give it taunt and then you get six armor. For a three mana four three that restores six is pretty good. But at the same time, if you give it taunt, you're kind of going out of your way to give it taunt, and that's also pretty bad. <sighs> I think this is kind of like filler. Would you play? Would you play control control warrior? Would you play this? Hard to say. Hey, this card is weird. I might give it a 3 star. Uh, maybe a 2 star. I don't really think this is too good. I think Iron Forge Portal is just better. 
This is no oh man. The, the fact that you can't trade this to get the armor, it makes it very weird. It is Death Rattle, so like the Zolf kind of thing, maybe? I'm not sure. This is your point. Nah, nah, nah. Okay, nah, 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 nah. I'm getting to this. Too. Sorry, this is just. No, nah, it's okay. Valkyr Soul Claimer. 3 mana 1 4. Whenever this minion survives damage, summon a 2 2 ghoul. Oh, okay. So this is a reward for all the deal 1 damage stuff, right? 3 mana 1 4. Make a 2 2 whenever it survives damage. This seems really good already. In face value, and of course, if you can activate this effect, it seems really good. Three mana, one three, make a two two. Three mana, one two, make two two twos. Eh, okay, maybe it's not that insane. The, 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 the stat line is pretty low, but yeah, and this can um, can this get there? My initial impression is that it's not really gonna get there. Everyone get in here. Eh, I mean, a 2-2 two two is not like, it's good. But like, at the same time, a 3 mana summon, like, if it's a 3 mana 1-2 two summon 2-2-2 two 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 is insane, right? 3 mana 1-3 summon a 2-2 two two is not that insane. Putting warrior. Oh man, I feel like this card is just gonna be good because of Blood Razor. This this card is just so good, right? Every card that synergizes with Blood Razor is automatically good, I think. But I'm just gonna give this like a I'm just gonna give this like a three star maybe just to be on the safe side. I really don't know. Eh, it's like whatever. Dead man's hand. Shuffle a copy of your hand. Into what the frick? <laughs> what? Okay. What? Okay, okay, so you play Patrol Warrior. So this is like gang up, right? This is like gang up, where you fill your deck of stuff, but you don't affect anything. Oh, that's so weird. This card is weird. Hmm. Shuffle a copy of your hand into your deck. Let's get sorted. So why is this good again? Oh, Sai9, thanks for the reset for 10 months. Thank you very much. I'll read your message later after all this. So, Gang Up, gang up well, it was an interesting effect and never got there. So, I'm assuming that Dead Man's Hand is just bad. Two mana do nothing is really bad. Um, <laughs> you can unluckily draw patches and then shuffle up patches into your deck. Nah, it's, okay, it's bad. It's bad. Zero stars. Okay, bring it on! Two mana epic to uh, gain 10 armor. Okay. Reduce the cost of minutes in your O. Oh. Reduce the cost of minutes in your opponent's hand by two. Whoa. Okay. Okay. So a little bit of synergy of brawl. Two mana gain ten is really. Wow, that's really good. Okay. Right. Two mana gain ten is a lot. Okay. Let's let's get this. Let's get this out of the way first. Two mana gain ten is a lot. Reducing the cost of your minions in your opponent's hand by two. That's a lot too. <laughs> That, you know, it can enable some stupid synergy in your opponent's deck as well, right? So, like, say say I'm playing this against a Lyra Priest. Oh god, you want to kill yourself, <laughs> right? So, there are some situations where you just lose the game because of this effect. And the big side is gain 10 armor. So, good against aggro decks, bad against literally everything else. Okay, I guess this is bad. Man, this is like... Just play shield block, right? Shield block is just better. Yeah, this is just bad. Zero stars. I think this is zero stars. Yeah, uh, this is zero stars, man. Okay, what face, man? Okay, so, so this is not like... Is this like a new Bible thump? Is this like the new cute guy? Because the Verloc tiny thing got bad? Snow flipper penguin? Seal mana 1-1 one, one beast? Okay, cute. Cobalt Scalebane, 5 mana, 5-5. Five, five. At the end of your turn, give another- Wow! Wow! Okay, Arena All-Star. Give another friendly minion- okay, the Wow! Wow! Okay, this is ins- Okay, the Paladin just got better, just naturally, right? Oh, this card's pretty good. It, this, can, can this actually make- 
constructed play? I think so. Five mana, five, five. Like, you know what? That's fine. The fact is actually pretty big too. Give a mini plus three attack. Three attack. You know, it could be one attack and it'd still be like decent arena code. This card is pretty good. This card is pretty good. I like this card. It's a dragon as well. It's five drop, unfortunately, for priest, uh, dragon priest. Dude, this is fine. Yeah, I'd say, I, I, I give this like a three or four. But this is a three slide, it's a good card. If there's a card that uses dragons and this buff, like maybe even Zulok can suddenly play this. This is beefy, it's be- oh, I, th I think 3 star is fair. I like that. Sun Sunborn Valkyr, 5 mana, 5, 4. Give adjacent- Whoa! Dude, what's happening with these commons? What the frick? These are really strong. Man, this is so strong in Arena! What are you- Are you kidding me? Wow, that's actually so good. Man, these two are like, kind of like brother and sister, right? <laughs> Also, not that insane and constructed, but all really ridiculous in the arena. I think this is a two star and constructed. I don't think you actually want this effect in constructed. But in the arena, this can be a beating. Yeah, I think this is two. Man, I like I like the designs of these two. Man, give 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 you guys a clappy clappy for Blizzard. Uh, these are these cards are designed well. Because the power level is strong enough for Arena, and the effect is um, negligible enough for Constructed to not matter. I, I think these are great. Necrotic Geist. Man, this guy looks really ugly. 6 mana, 5, 3. Okay. Whenever one of your other minions die, summon a 2-2 two, two Ghoul. So you can technically keep on sacrificing your 2-2 two, two Ghoul to make another 2-2 two, two Ghoul. So it's kind of like a lot of repetitive value. But it's also very fragile. This card could be also really good in arena because if they can't kill this, the game is just over. This card is unplayable in, in constructed, right? Yeah, this card is unplayable in constructed. So zero stars in constructed. In arena, this is actually I'm, I'll be happy with one of these, especially if I have something like unleash the hounds or something, right? <laughs> yeah. Why is this a common? This is weird. This is not a common. This is like an epic, right? Because this the effect is so weird. Yeah, if you have two of these on the board, oh my god, yeah, yeah, yeah. this is zero. Oh, oh, I, I, I actually saw this. someone, someone messaged me about this. So this is auto picking arena, right? Seven out of five, five bone mare. Give a friendly minion plus four, plus four in taunt. That's ridiculous. How is this a common? Dude, the commons are so insane right now. You know, when you draft Arena, you just want to see the Bone Mare, you want to see the Valkyr, you want to see Cobalt Scale Bane more than sometimes you want to see Legendaries. This card is stupid. It's the Firelands portal. And a common for all classes. For instantaneous effect. What the frick? This card is stupid. Okay, this card is actually stupid. This card is stupid. Man, this card is stupid! Okay, Blessing of King something? So minus four mana, it's a three mana five five. It's a three mana five five. And the plus four plus four, you know, when you, the, the good thing about Blessing of Kings is that you can charge with the Blessing of Kings, right? Because the minion can attack immediately. Like, this is stupid. This is actually stupid. All right, like, yeah, it constructed. Man. You put enough of these effects in Constructed, and Constructed is going to be a deck where it's just literally just going to be Zoo, right? The good thing about this thing that might not be insane in Zoo is it's 7 mana. It's pretty expensive, but I think the effect is definitely there. Nah, this card is stupid. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not sure about Constructed. And this might actually even be a 3 star in Constructed, because like 7 mana, 9 9 stats, that, that, that is something. That is something. Shadow Grave Digger. Oh, they previewed this before. So 3 mana, 3 1. When it dies, you get a death rattle minion. So auto pick an arena once again. <laughs> Anything that draws a card is auto pick. Uh, in constructed, add a random death rattle minion to your hand. So it can be from other classes. Okay. So uh, you want to play Nizal with this. You want to play something that copies the effect of this. I'm gonna go ahead and say this is not too good. Yeah, I'll give this a one star. I don't think it's that good in uh, constructed. Too fragile. Too random. You get a tentacle in the Zav, you're really unhappy. Yeah. 
No, no, no. Pass. Ticking Abomination. 4 mana, 5, 6. When it dies, 5 damage to all your minions. This reminds me of Ventricle Mercenary. And the fact that it makes your minions a bit worse. I think this is okay in Arena. Five, 4 mana, 5, 6 is pretty beefy. Plus... If you're playing a class with like weapons and spells and stuff like that, which is all the classes, then you can actually make this good. I think in constructed this is useless though. Is it? Hmm. I think this is useless in constructed. I don't see this being in any deck. Four mana five six is not. It's not really breaking the barrier or anything, right? Like a 4 mana 5 4. I mean, it is 4 mana 5 is pretty beefy, but you already have 4 mana 7 7s, and those are kind of like, okay, people have been not cutting that now, too, even, right? It's, like, well, it's not that good. It just gets outward and whatnot. So I feel like this is not that good in Constructed. So I'll, I'll give this like a. I'll, just, I'll, give, I'll give this a 0 in Constructed. In Arena, is actually fine. Because, like, you know, Ventricle Mercenary, you yeah. know. Corpse Taker, four mana three three. You get ta gain taunt if you. Oh, okay, okay. So you gain a keyword if you have the keyword in your in your deck. Four mana three three. So how good is a four mana three three of two of these words? It's pretty good. And then three words, four words. Wait, if you put this in with Alec here, you automatically get three. Right? Wow. Hmm. Wind Fury. Wind Fury and Life Steel and Divine Shield. Because Taunt is kind of like. Yeah. 3 3. This is okay. I think this is okay. It reminds me of the the four mana three five when you hit face it becomes a six drop kind of thing right where if your opponent can't deal with this it gets insane but if your opponent can deal with it it's like a silver moon guardian and silver moon guardian was not really that good I'll give this a three star I think it might be a bit overrated in people's eyes because it has a lot of stuff going on for it but I don't think it's that insane I think it's three stars right. Yeah, it does have charge. If it has charge, it would have been insane, obviously, but nah, it's lifesteal. Lifesteal is good, though. Lifesteal is good against aggro. And against uh, multiple. Yeah, okay, I'll, I'll give this a three star. Uh, maybe even a four star. I'm not sure, I'm not sure. Uh, three and four, three and four. Not sure. Meat Wagon. Okay, so this is uh, neutral. Four out of one, four. Death Rattle summon a minion from your deck with less attack within this minion. Wait, what? So you summon a zero attack creature? If you buff this, it can get better, but... Wait, what? It's a 4 mana 1-4? One four? Wait, what? Okay, um... What? Wait, what? Summon a minion from your deck with less attack than this minion. So why would your opponent want to kill this? They don't. If you want to kill this yourself, what can you get? The zero attack. Lorok Cho. Doomsayer. What else? The egg. Manatai Totem. If you buff this up, you get a free minion. Four mana. What? Oh, I'm off this. I'm off this. I think this is pretty bad. Oh. Is there some zero attack minion that's really good that I'm missing? Validated Doomsayer? No, no. No, right? Light spawn? Light spawn? Oh, oh. Nap Hagel? Oh. Okay, my initial impression is that this sucks. Like, but then there might be a combo that, that makes this really. Nah, no, no. There's, there's no way, right? There's no way. Alright, zero stars next. Nerubian Unraveler. 6 mana, 5, 5. Spells cost 2 more. This 
so like a low pep kind of thing. Huh? Like, I guess it could actually make some strategies really good. So like, hmm, five five. Oh man, why are these cards so awkward to? It's so weird. I'm gonna give this zero for constructed. I think this is just bad. Um, in arena, I mean, like, you pick this if you can't have to pick this. No, this card is just bad. This card is just bad. <laughs> this card is just bad. No, this card is just bad. All right, legendary is nice. Prince Kelisif. Kelisif? Kelisif? Two mana, two two. If your deck is no two cost cards, give all minions in your deck plus one plus one. Wait, isn't this insane in quest? <laughs> Oh, baby! This is like the first- It's like, oh, well, Questwork doesn't play any two drops. Alright, they play Novice Engineer. Right? So, that, that's like the first thing. It's really good in Questwork. Wait, it give all your minions in your deck. It doesn't give it to your hand or the board. Right? Oh, and is it two by two too? Oh, what the? What? Like, it, oh, man, two drops are so important. So the only way you can make a deck that has no two drops is if you make one drops, right? Oh, I think this is bad. I think this is actually bad, but I think this is good in Quest Rogue. Maybe. I'm gonna go with. Man, if I go with two stars. That would be so meme right? I'm gonna go with like one. Because at least you're using Quest Rogue, maybe? I'm gonna give this zero. Ah, oh, this card is so bad. Okay, pass. Prince Taladoram. 3 mana, 3 3. If you think there's no 3 cost cards, transform into a 3 3 copy of a minion. Alright, so basically, face is manipulator, right? If you have no three cost cards. Okay, this guy can get behind a little bit more. Because there are some decks that don't really need three drops. But it's a 3-3 three, three instead. Oh, why are these cards so weird? So, can I play this in Lyra Priest? Why would you want to? Okay, like this actually has potential. Because if you play a very rigged 5, 6, or 7 drop and you copy it and then you get a double effect, it's, it, could, it could get pretty degenerate. And I don't think this requirement is that hard to get. This requirement is really bad, right? But this requirement is a little bit better because it's 3 cost. So you can, you can build something like, I don't know, like Maligos, Maligos Druid, right? So Maligos Druid, you go turn 10, Maligos, innervate this guy, copy Maligos, Moonfire, Moonfire, whatever, you know, you can do some cute stuff with this. But um, I think this is potential. I'll give this a 3 star. I think actually this is potential. This is, no, this is potential. Of course we need a 4 drop, right? Alright, Prince Valinor. 4 mana, 4, 4, your deck has no 4 cost cards, gain life, steal, and taunt. 4 mana 4 4 lifesteal taunt. That's pretty good. But no 4 drops. No 4 drops? Man, that's also really bad. Oh, what the? I mean, rogues don't really have 4 drops. And rogues actually do want a 4 mana 4 4 lifesteal taunt. So, that's the first my first impression. Rogue is it's, it's a real card. What else? What else can this be? I'm actually sweating a bit. That's why I'm like sneezing a bit. I think this has a little potential too. I'll give this I'll give this a I'll give this a two star. I think this has potential. Yeah. There might be a deck that can make use of this. I think I like this prince the most out of all the out of all the princes. All right, let's go ahead and um, look at some more cards that we missed. Harshpawn.com. Okay. 
Mind mind breaker. Oh, this guy is so ugly. Oh no, guys. I'm I'm sorry if I'm insulting anybody who looks like a mind breaker, but if you look like this guy, you're pretty ugly, man. Uh, three mana two five. Hero powers are disabled. That is so filler. Right? Hmm. Is that even good? That feels pretty bad. That just feels bad, man. I don't like it. I don't like it. I, I feel like this is trash. Yeah, zero stars. Phantom Freebooter. Uh, battle card. Gain stats equal to your weapons. Okay, so if you have a Fire War Axe, then it becomes a 6-5. Oh man, this, this part is actually really good. Wait, this card is insane! Yo! He played this in Pirate Warrior, remember, like, Pirate Warriors can upgrade their weapons, right? So, say they have, like, a 3-3, three, three, oh my, that's, that's 4 mana 6-6. Six, six. And it's a pirate. And at the minimum, it's a 4 mana 4-4 four, four, or 4 mana 4-5 or something. Like that. That's just really good. And it's a pirate. Wait, this card's good. I think this card's good. I think I, I'm gonna give this a 4-star. This could get really big. It, it all it requires is a weapon. Yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and say that this card is good. And this card is the four stars. Embrace darkness. Six mana. Choose an enemy minion priest card, right? At the start of your turn, take control of it. So it's it's a mind control of delay. So if you play this, you don't want to play any minions either. And then you take their guy, and then the guy does not have charge. Oh. Oh, the guy does not have charge, he can't attack. He can attack you, and oh, man, I want this to be good. I want this to be good, but it's not, is it? Six mana, it's like, so, oh. It's like in tomb. Yeah, it's like in tomb, for sure. Man, how is this good? How is this good? I can't think of a situation where it's good. It's... It's like corruption, and corruption sucks. Six mana? What the frick? Oh man, all the priest cards suck. Alright, I, 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 I'm, I'm, I'm happy of giving this a zero. Speaking of shitty priest cards, Archbishop Benedictus. Seven mana, four, six, for some freaking weird reason. Battle card shuffle a copy of your opponent's deck into your deck, so you get more cards in your deck. How is this a 7 mana 4 6? That doesn't even make sense. How is this 7 mana 4 6? It doesn't make sense. This should be a 7 mana 7 7. Like, if this is a 7 mana 7 7, I'd still think about where to put this in my deck, you know? Like, man, this card is so shitty. Right? This card is actually shitty. When I saw this in the airport, I was so sad. I was like, what the frick is this? This is the first legendary? Like, are you doing this? Thing? It doesn't even have steal anything, you know? I would love a lifesteal legendary priest, but this is card is just crap, right? Like, how is this good? It's terrible. Hammock plus Ben do this combo? Yeah, how about just play Pyre Warrior and win the game? Like, no, this card just sucks. <laughs> There's a lot of meme potential. And then, like, Priest is gonna be the meme class again. Man, Priest is always the meme class. Why can't Priest just be good? For once. Man, this card just, is just trash. Like, it's just bad. Zero stars. Just for fun, thank you so much for the sub. Oh. Oh. I, I, oh. That feels bad. It's like a waste of the legendary slot, you know? Like, all the other classes got, like... Okay, maybe the Druid one's kind of weird, but... All the other classes got some cool legendaries. Okay, fine. Oh, maybe all the legendaries kind of weird. Maybe. Yeah. Oh, it's so bad. Okay. Yeah, it's bad. It's bad. No, it's bad. It's bad. Yeah. Yeah. No. Not 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 good. Not good. Alright, is that it? Did I miss any cards? Did I miss any other cards, guys? 
So I think the best card right now so far that's re revealed is Bloodraiser. So I'm gonna rate Bloodraiser a six. I always rate a card a six. This card is insane. Alright. That's my that's my first impression. And this card is insane. <laughs> <laughs> 